Hey everybody, welcome to my let's play. Uh, apologies for ending the video in the middle of this chapter or so. I was usually, up until that point, I was trying to sort of stick to a formula of one, pretty much one chapter per video, one chapter per episode. But the previous video ran on for too long, so here we are. So, I just remember still having kind of a, a complex about this part of the game because I spent many an hour trying to defeat this area, trying to get past this area when I was trying to beat this game on the hardest difficulty. Which back in the day used to be something that, that I had a habit of at least trying to do. I think it was mainly for achievements but I guess it was also a pride thing. I think the biggest moment of pride related to that had to be when I beat Call of Duty 4, the original Modern Warfare on Veteran, which I, that, oh, goodness, which I think was the hardest difficulty level. I, I think that's the name of it. I kind of get them mixed up between games, you know, sometimes in some games it's called Professional, other games it's called Veteran, ah, who knows. And whoops, I did not time that very well. Apparently that steam goes off every few seconds, but I could never get the timing of that. Okay, so here we go. I love the very colorful areas. I I was going to kind of ridicule that, but I actually kind of thought, you know what? To be completely honest, my office is actually pretty colorful. It's actually orange too, which is really ironic. But I think definitely, call, going back to that whole discussion, I think definitely Call of Duty Modern Warfare was the biggest achievement. And I actually really liked that campaign a lot. I didn't think it was too bad. I mean, is it a masterpiece? No. But definitely it was one of those where I really, I don't know, I was really struck by it. I liked it. It was, that was definitely the first Call of Duty I game, game I played. And I think that's the case for most people because I never played the earlier Call of Duty games back when it was just about World War II. Some reason, for some reason, I just decided to pick up that game. And from the moment, if you've played the game, if you played the campaign, I should say, I think the moment that really struck me was there's a part towards the beginning. I think it's like the first mission too, where you're on a boat and the boat is about to sink I, f I forget what happened i don't know if the boat was attacked or something like that that's how long it's been since i played it and no i, I don't know what the hell's wrong with me playing right here it's like i'm freaking jumping bean over here i don't know i, I want to blame the controls but it's not really the controls it's just me kind of getting a little too much giddy up when i mean to just stand on a single platform so Oh goodness, get get your act together, Bohan. Come on, get your act together. Please. I actually don't know if enemies will eventually come into this area and there's a time limit. I don't know. I've never seen it. So but that is definitely prompting my my urgency there. Not very graceful, I might add. But finally I made it to where I wanted to go. But anyway, there was a part in Modern Warfare 1 where you're in a boat. And it's kind of leaning at one point. You're still inside the boat. You're trying to escape. You're like running really fast. And it's so intense. And I'm just like, holy cow. This game's awesome. I love it. Mind you, again, I had not played the multiplayer. Which, I played it months later. Kind of after the fact. Even though it was kind of hacked. That sort of thing. I still enjoyed it. And I have no idea why I'm humping this door right here. But, just... Faith got in the moment. Who knows? Should be somewhere below you. So, it was just one of those things, and I still think it's a pretty decent campaign. I, I, I think I would definitely say that. If you guys have not played it, hell, even if you've, even if you're like me, where you're kind of over the whole Call of Duty thing, and I've not played Call of Duty in a long time. You guys know this. I still kind of want to play the campaign, just the Modern Warfare One campaign. Now, by the time they got up to Modern Warfare 2, which was released about two years after that, it, it got a, the, the campaign got a little ridiculous. I like the fact that the campaign was very raw. I remember there's one, well, you know what, I'm not going to spoil it, because 
I, I was gonna mention a part of the campaign but if a if you guys haven't played it i don't want to spoil it for you guys and b i may or may not do a let's play of it just the campaign i'm not really interested in doing multiplayer videos just not my thing and there's plenty of people that have done them and continue to do them and hats off to them honestly all right so i'm finally through this area and where am i very bright very bright again i can't stop kind of drawing comparisons between portal and this game except obviously you can't do portals here <laughs> but just something about the sterility of this uh, of the area and it's, ra it's rather hostile towards the protagonist whether it's Chell and portal or faith here it's very interesting I think this game came out after. Jackpot. I think I found the nerve center room. Could be some kind of training room. Drake. What are they training them for? You mean there's something left in the city they haven't managed to tax, ban, or regulate? What the hell's left, huh? Us. Merc, get your gun. You know, that's never too far away. Why? This, this training, Merc, this Project Icarus, Pirandello Kruger, they're not here to bolster the police. They're being trained to come after us, after the runners, all the runners. Everything okay up there? Quiet as grave, just me, birds, and the best black market surveillance equipment money can buy. It's him. Him? The guy I saw at the mall. I've seen him on a camera, on the deck of a boat at the dock. Hold his face. You've done enough. Right now, see if you're sitting in the lion's den. So please, all that's out of there. Chatter's gone berserk. Blues know you're there. Get out now. Oh, shit. oh hell. And I don't know what this is. This is like an abstract playground, like a playground for adults. It's just kind of a weird area. That I don't even know what this is supposed to be. What like the original purpose of this area is, but it's kind of a cool area for parkour. I like it. So I, like I like I was saying before, I think Portal came out. I believe Portal came out before this game. So. I mean, there's obviously some differences. The, for me, the overall kind of feeling between when I play Portal versus when I play this game, they're very distinct from each other. I mean, it's very different. But definitely the motion sickness is not different. That's really gross. I apologize. Okay, a nice little spoon move. I did that. I did there, but... And if nothing else, the damn footsteps of those whatever they are, those... Are they cyborgs or something? I don't know. But those instill more in fear in me whenever I play this game than any of the police officers that fight Faith, that shoot at Faith. It's, I don't know, it just freaks me out. It's just like the turrets in Portal. Every t and, they're, and they're so cute. Like they're so darn cute, and they, and yet they're so scary when they're like, what do they? I forget what they say. They say something to you. Not sleep mode. That's actually the opposite when they don't see you. I forget. Oh my! No, I'm drawing a blank. What do they? What do those turrets say to you to let you know they see you? Some, some like sentry mode or something like that. I don't know. I forget. But either way, that always like, that always makes you just kind of like, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Gives me a moment of pause. This actually looks like the area I started the chapter in. Something like that. Yeah. Oh, and if in case your situation wasn't effed up enough, now you have cops trying to shoot at you. I think these guys are still chasing. Still giving chase, so I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go running someplace. <laughs> you get directions from a face, get out of there. I think I'm almost in the clear though. Please, I'm 
jump this way and Oh thank God. Do it. I'm going after that guy. You guys don't know because I edited it out, but I now have such a complex jumping on trains in this game that I was seriously expecting to like have to do that part about 15 times. And is this just gonna be Faith running or? I mean, don't get me wrong. I know they I pulled out with. That's Pope's killer, Mark. Yeah, well, there might be more heat out there. It's too risky to try to get to the with Ninja Gaiden. Sure. There must be some way to slip in undercover. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the original NES Ninja Gaiden, which I've only played a little bit of that game, by the way. I I only got up to, I think there's only, what is it, six acts or something like that? And I only ever got to, I can't even remember what act I got to. I never played it as a kid, which thank God I never did, because I think that game would have made me cry. I see what everybody's talking about. I hear all these little kids, oh, Dark Souls is this, Dark Souls is tough, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I've never played Dark Souls, so it's not fair for me to for me to have an opinion about it when I've not played it. But I'm like, kid, play Ninja Gaiden. Play Mega Man. All right? Play Contra and try to challenge yourself not to die once. Okay? And, and then come to me and tell me how games are hard. All right? I don't know. It's just this generational difference. It is what it is. So, finally, I'm just gonna make my way to this truck. And apparently, Faith is related to Solid Snake, and she didn't even need to try to hide. That's kind of awesome. What the hell is in this boat anyway? No idea. Could be munitions, I guess. Might be to do with this project, Icarus. Look, head straight for the deck if that's where you saw this guy. Once you found your killer, get some answers and get out fast. Lots of blue traffic in the area, so get ready for a fight. So yeah, speaking of Ninja Gaiden, was that the first official game to have cutscenes or what? I know that was kind of a big thing, and, and Ninja Gaiden is often tout touted for that. But I don't know if it's the very first game. I'm sure one of you guys knows more than I, so please feel free to feel free to enlighten me because I would love to know that. But one thing I do know for sure, one thing that I th think is not arguable, is not debatable, is that Ninja Gaiden's music is freaking badass. Especially the credit song, which is also a song in one of the stages. I believe it was stage four point something. Okay, so this is another heavy com uh, combat heavy area. And this is another area that gave me a tremendous headache when I was trying to defeat the the highest difficulty. For, for here, if, this is your if you're playing this game for the first time, I would definitely recommend just taking a piecemeal. I think that pretty much applies to any any of the combat situations. There's some you can get away with, like if there's one or two police officers that are not the we wanted like these guys are, I think you can get away. And if it's a pretty sort of like wide area that you can run around them and then I would recommend just run around them. Don't don't waste your time. But for an area like this, it's like you kinda have to fight these guys. And you and you have to do it very quickly because I think other enemies will eventually come into this area so it's in your best interest to just you know fight these guys but get out of here but this part's not over so that was just kind of the first part and i can't remember if it was this part or the upcoming part that was giving me difficulties i want to say the latter part was which i think is right here ouch okay let me see here. I'm just gonna plan this out. There's a few enemies in this area. And wait. Okay, I actually got really lucky there. I was Again, these guys. You saw how very quickly that weapon turns red. Sometimes if you're not ready, it'll be hard to it'll be hard to disarm them and almost always 
it'll eventually be a death sentence. Definitely, because they can immediately recover and then hit you, causing severe damage if not killing you, which is very annoying. I think in hard mode that's pretty much a death sentence. Let me just see here. I think there's one more guy. I think he's way over there. I have no idea if I'm able to hit him and I'm out of ammo. Actually this part doesn't seem bad though. Which is nice. I think this is the last guy. So that's good. We're done. And we can move on. Here you go, take a shot every time Faith turns a red valve handle. Seriously. That's gotta be a fetish somewhere. So thankfully that was actually I pretty I really built up that combat <laughs> section a lot more significantly than it actually turned out to be. It is it is what it is. But that's what I was saying in one of my previous videos. With everything, and not just with video games, with everything that I experienced for the first time, it always seems a lot more epic and a lot more daunting the first time. And then once I do it multiple times, it doesn't seem so bad. So, then, oh gosh. So, Faith once again decides to turn into a ghost. Very annoying. So, let's go back to the music. Now, with music, I'm always, I'm always on the hunt for, for apps and things like that where I can, I can find uh, video game music, video game music and remixes too. And the thing is that the fact of the matter is that I used to be an iPhone owner, then I switched over to a Droid. And now I have a Galaxy, so still on the Android. And honestly, when I switched from the iPhone, and I had an iPhone 4, to basically their competition, one of their competitors, I really didn't look back. Honestly, like what had happened was that one of my family members had a Samsung Galaxy S3. And I really liked the way the pictures looked whenever she took pictures. They looked far superior than any of the pictures I took with my iPhone. So I was jealous. I wasn't too happy. So I said, you know what? Uh, I definitely don't want to... I definitely want to switch it up. Which was, of course, really daunting because I had, up until that point, been only an owner of an iPhone. And if you guys have ever switched, it doesn't really matter which order you switch in. You know that there's a difference. And... But I said, you know what? It'll be worth it. It's not too bad. I'm just going to go ahead and figure it out. What I like about the Android, in addition to the to the, to the the camera, the, and I have the Galaxy S5 now. What I like about it is, like I said, the camera's really awesome. But it's also, I feel like I could be a lot more productive with it. Like, I like the way I can see what I can do with it, if that makes any sense. And that was just something I felt like I couldn't do with the iPhone so much. At least the way I was using it. So, by the way, I understand that there's, there's a necessity for the ship to kind of be have all these doors, but for the game, it becomes really monotonous. Just saying. So anyway, one of the... I, I, I didn't regret changing. I didn't regret the switch, but... One thing that I was a little sort of concerned about was, oh well, what am I gonna do with all these with all these songs that I've bought and that I've also uploaded to iTunes? Because I mean, that's an easy it's an e it, the easy solution is to ouch is to just use your iPhone, right? You can upload your your music. And by the way, there's a sniper here. You have to be kind of careful. Snipers are pretty decent shot. There's, there's good cover here, but Sniper pretty much has aimbot, so, you know, it's a 12-year-old boy playing as a sniper across the way. Oh, good lord. I actually just bought Battlefield 4. I haven't played it yet, my gosh. I haven't played it yet, but, um, 
I'm definitely looking forward to it. I just hope it's not been tainted. I had that experience with Gears of War 3. When I first bought that game and I played the multiplayer, it was a lot of fun. Then I stopped playing it, I took a break from it for some reason, I started playing other things. And then when I went back to it, just out of sheer curiosity, my experience was so negative and I, I could tell the reason why. It was because certain people who played a certain first person shooter game were not playing this game. Lord knows why. And it just, it kind of made the experience not so great. You know, I'm a, I better be careful here because... Oh, okay, that was actually a blessing in disguise. That sniper decided to run off instead of... The sniper would have shot me, I definitely would have been dead. But, so I'm just hoping that the... My experience with Battlefield... Ouch! My ex oh my gosh. That sniper's relentless. So I'm just hoping my Battlefield experience is, more, is a lot more positive. So anyway, I was... My question was, how do I fill that void that the iPhone was able to fill? Which was, how do I get all access to all of my music? Now, mind you, I'm the kind of person that, in addition to music I bought on iTunes, I have, you know, as an aficionado of video game music, a lot of video game music you simply can't find on iTunes, you simply can't buy, so you have to find it in interesting ways. So finally, I, you know, I never understood this about gunfights all you have to do like that this this person clearly had a shot and could have shot me in the head but no no let's do hand-to-hand -hand combat by the way just oh gosh yeah you basically can't punch because the person will grab you so what i'm trying to do here is you'll you see what i'm doing here i'm trying to just kind of slide kick but the hit detection is a little weird something like look at that that person she obviously did not hit me, and she still... Oh my gosh. Okay, this is not good. I'm actually kind of low on health. So the idea is, is to uh, get vagina kicks in, and... Oh yeah, spoilers, this is a woman, not a man that I'm fighting. I think that's pretty obvious, though. I don't... I think I landed that punch, but I don't know how. Again, questionable hit detection here. Okay, so now you can disarm, and of course, because I'm playing a let's play, I can't nail it the first time. Of course, if I was playing by myself, it would have been fine. Okay, so that was scripted, that was supposed to happen, and now I give chase. So will I catch her, will I not? Stay tuned until my next video. Later!